There's also a bill. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. I know you're already scared. Don't be scared. Oh, what low you bo? You know you bo low gay. to my youtube channel it's your own girl bukola temini ko bukola to my old subscribers thank you for coming back and to the new one you are highly welcome i really appreciate you guys thank you so much ah for those people that don't know me if you are seeing me for the first time i am an international student currently studying at the university of all and i'm here with my family of four today you see that I'm holding my barrel because we'll be talking about bills, things you will spend money on when you are in the UK. <laughs> so grab your chair, you can get popcorn. Please sit down because the list is long. As an international student, if you are coming with family, the student is exempted in a lot of things, but they expect that the spouse can work, although the student can work for 20 hours, but the spouse can work as many hours as possible. So they expected that you are making money. But as you are making the money, you are also paying your bills. I'm going to use my own as an example because I'm staying in a two bedroom apartment. I did a video on it um, sometimes last month and I got a lot of response, a lot of people watched that video. If you have not watched it, please watch it. It, it will just show you how um, a two bedroom look like. I know some people complain that I should have used a back camera, but no problem. I'm going to do another one very soon. So, but you just have an idea of what a two bedroom look like. So the first bill we pay is the electricity bill. Yes, but um, I will start for for students that are staying alone, that you are single, you might not be paying all this bill because your house rent would have included your bills and everything, bills inclusive. So you might not really have problem. And I've already, I, I gave you a description of how much a student will pay for house rent, maybe like 300 to 400 in a shared bedroom, in a shared apartment, maybe like three people, different people staying together, sharing the same parlor, but different um, rooms. The only thing that is different is just the room, the shared bedroom. Some some is a suit bedroom. That is, you are the only ones having your toilet and your bedroom in a room while you share the other things. So, but this is a two bedroom. We are high and my family of four is staying. But somebody asked me that question, how much do you pay for my house rent? Yeah, the, this one I'm staying is 650 pounds. I pay 650 pounds per month. It is unfurnished and without bills. Yes, it's on the high side because on when we were looking for house, it's not easy to get out. So anyone will see, we grab it fast. <laughs> Although this is refurbished. The, the landlord has done a lot of things in the house. So everything looks so new. Everything everything and it comes with refrigerator comes with the washing machine comes with the cooker every other thing we got it ourselves but the house is very clean and very nice so for a two bedroom you pay this bill electricity bill please don't calculate in error i just beg you don't calculate in error <laughs> just leave that price as it is for my two bedroom we are staying in an energy rating house of band a band a is actually the best so if you are getting any house make sure the the rating is between band a and d so for our elect electricity the first one month they brought like 40 something pounds then the second month they bought like i think 50 something pounds so but on the long run it means that what we were spending on the average was like 50 to 60 pounds in a month please don't calculate in error if you like yourself just leave that never like that as in leave it <laughs> another thing you will pay for is water bill yes you pay for water bill water bill is not free you pay to, you pay to use water and the more the people that stays there the more water consumption you'll be using imagine if only one person is staying in an apartment you won't have to how many only you are taking but only you are using water so you won't spend too much but if you are like two or three just like me we are four so i buy for the children and wash children's clothes definitely we'll be spending a lot of, of water so how much we spend per month roughly is they, they actually bring the, the bill every three months for us we spent the first three months they brought they brought 136.05 pounds that is like 44 pounds in a month that is how much they bring. And the fun, funny thing is that in that water bill, they listed the things that that money is being charged for. You see, the water that passed through our house down to the um, to the gutter down, the sewage, they, they, they calculate how much they are going to use in treating that water. 
screaming. You see these people, eh? they're just it just seems to amaze me that they will treat the water. The water that falls through the rain, they, they wrote how much they will use in I need I need to get that paper. Yes, this is our water bill. And they wrote the charges. They wrote that for, for sewage. They said we charge you to take away and treat 95% of the water you use. This is agreed amount that goes down your drains. So for the gutter, you are paying for it. This charge also includes water that drains from roads and footpaths. <laughs> these are funny bills but you will pay for it you also be paying for surface water all this they will now calculate and give you the estimates <laughs> surface water the charge for taking away surface water e.g. rain water from your home and public sewers so water that flows from the rain they are charging you for that another bill you are going to be paying <laughs> and if you did not pay they will bring letter again to, tell, to give you warning I pay. So please pay your pay, pay those bills. So it's not about renting a house. Another thing is about paying bills. So some people also told me that okay, they got an apartment with bills inclusive as a family. Please take it fast. Because the thinking of having to pay bills on its own is is, is on another level. I've talked about water bills. Okay. I'm going to talk about um cancel tax. Yes, cancel tax. As an international student, you are exempted. You don't need to pay council tax. But your spouse, if you are married, your spouse will pay. It depends on the place you are. For us here in England, in Hall, my husband is paying. But some places, some people said they are all, their spouse is not paying, that they are also exempted. But mine was not exempted. But immediately, you are no more a student. For September, it takes. Start thinking. No? <laughs> immediately, you stop being a student. By September, after that September, you start paying. <laughs> you will start paying that bill. So for cancel tax, what they brought for my husband was um, they, they wrote it here that I am exempted because I am a student. They wrote it there. Cancel tax um, amount disregard students. So students are being disregarded. That is, I don't need to pay. But from October down to um, to March. They estimated six hundred and seven pounds for my husband. That is um, October, November, December, January, February, March. That is like that is like six months. They estimated six hundred and seven pounds. So in a month, he's going to be paying roughly one hundred and thirteen pounds in a month. So and we have to pay the money. As in, they they wrote everything the way it is. That your council tax is made up of kissing upon all city council, the police crime commissioner of, of Umber side. Those are the things they use your money for. Adult social care. So you actually pay for this. But you know, it's a good one because you're actually seeing this thing working. Because if there's anything cannot happen now, you call police, they will be here. Boom. Firefighters will be here. If there's anything, they will come. So you're actually paying for this. So immediately you stop to be a student, Makawai, you will pay. <laughs> <laughs> so get that into your head then yeah, there's also tv license tv license if you are also watching bbc and the like but i only do netflix i only do youtube and netflix they have not brought any bill to us yet i don't know if they are still going to bring but some people said they brought but they did not bring anyone to me so we also pay for tv license there's also a bill <laughs> calm down calm down calm down i know you're already scared don't be scared <laughs> Oh, one low you bo, you low you bo low gay. For those people that don't understand Yoruba, the money of Yankee stays in the Yankee because you use it to develop the country, and it is good. It is good because I mean, I actually love it because I'm seeing what they are using the money for. Mm -mm, I can see it seriously. I can see it, but you know, when you start calculating it in Nigeria, you think ah, in Nigeria. Ah, will I spend up to that? Go oh, possible. Eh? Even if I might not spend the water bill, you might not pay it. <laughs> but you know, this is this that is just what it is. <laughs> That is just what it is. Then you somebody was asking me recently that will I pay for bus? Is bus free? Yes. <laughs> bus is not free. You will pay. <laughs> you will pay. But there are some um discounts for students i think there's real real discount there's a real card you can get as a student so you get a discount on it i've not been using real like that so i didn't collect it because you, you have to use it so you can decide to use it and 
get a discount as a student but the one i use very well is the boss for all where we had this east yorkshire bus and there is then the stagecoach bus if you're actually the one that used to go out very well then you can use you can buy the cards that you you will just be topping up maybe you buy it for one pounds then you'll be topping up maybe for for a week you'll be topping up for 14.99 pounds so and that the stagecoach one you can actually use it for both buses if i tell you the story of what happened to me when i got lost in this uk in my first two weeks hey that story is another thing the last time i got lost i met myself somewhere like ah like lagos to Ibadan. and we're just going we're just i was just telling myself that are we not there are we not there? What hey my phone now went off my phone was off and the funny thing is that this day are weather because of the code your phone battery is draining so there's no how you would even keep trying. I couldn't even check Google Maps to even know where I was. And when I was coming back from school, I've already called my husband that period that I'm already on my way. Oh. <laughs> now I'm already on my way. That I'll be home, at home in the next 10 minutes. I was just in the city center. Is the city center. The city center, instead of me to enter 57 bus, I went enter 75. That was where my error came from. And I saw them taking me away. Ah, Mosukun, I cried. <laughs> I cried because when when we when I when I met myself, it was in the middle of a red sea. <laughs> it's not a red sea, but it was the middle of an ocean. That place I've not forgotten the name. <laughs> that with that sea, yes, that's the name of the place. With that sea, maybe that's not the pronunciation, but it was with that sea. When I now got there, I will show you a video of it. Somewhere. I got lost. I entered the wrong bus. So I was meant to enter 78. I entered bus 75. You know, the 5 and the 8 look alike. So I found myself in another town, you know, like going from Lagos to Ibadan, like a one and a half hour drive. You know, at the moment I, I saw that I was already lost, I couldn't come down because <laughs> it was a wilderness. <laughs> and I might not see a bus. To go back so it's better i follow them to the last go oh, that catch me don't ever <laughs> please if you know that you don't know where you are going make sure your phone is alive and you can talk speak speak out speak out don't be doing a call please speak out so if not you will get lost <laughs> it was a funny experience but ah thank god i got saved <laughs> so watch where you are going and be careful of the bus you enter we've come to the end those are the bills we used to pay but keep your mind at rest you will act your spouse if you are married your spouse will actually be making the money <laughs> and you can work 20 hours and you actually make some money too so the bills is something that there's nothing god cannot do <laughs> what god cannot do does not exist thank you so much for watching to this end see you in my next video bye <music>